We believe that black women are inherently resilient, strong, and passionate about our health. And we're not defined by disease, obesity, and poverty. My name is Linda Golden Blount, and I'm president and CEO of the Black Women's Health Imperative, the only national organization dedicated to improving the health and wellness of the nation's 21 million black women and girls. Our mission is to ensure that black women and girls live their healthiest lives emotionally, physically, and financially. We have a lifestyle change program called Change Your Lifestyle, Change Your Life. It grew out of a national diabetes prevention program. We have now expanded it beyond diabetes prevention to chronic disease prevention and risk reduction. You know, I grew up with my grandmother being a diabetic, taking insulin every day, and then my aunts, as they got older, were becoming diabetics. So I knew that, you know, early on, I would need to start taking steps to to prevent that from happening to me. Going through the class, give you additional tips and recipes and just, just all of the information I learned in the class. Being able to take that back and help my family and, and, and see them make some of the changes, that's been amazing. Since I've started the program, I think as of this morning, I'm at 26 pounds down. So just seeing it move again is <laughs> what's been so exciting for me. But it was this peer-to-peer -peer outreach, this face-to-face -face contact in our target cities, I think, that really added value to the project. In the, the field of HIV prevention, we have a program called Let's Talk About PrEP. And PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. Black women represent 64% of all infections, where we're 13% of the, of the population. So our program, Let's Talk About PrEP, gets this information to women where they are, in their hands, on their smartphones. My Sister's Keeper is a new program and it is focused on college age women, women 18 to 34. Unintended pregnancy, intimate partner violence, and the consequences of risky sexual behavior are the leading reasons that young women drop out of college. Through My Sister's Keeper, women at historically black colleges and universities across the country uh, learn how to support each other in making healthy choices. And um, they also become advocates in their communities and on their campuses. One of our main challenges is breast cancer. When we look at black women and breast cancer, about 18% of our breast cancers occur under the age of 50. When I was 44, no one in my family had breast cancer or any form of cancer that I was aware of. So it was a total shock to me. So if these guidelines in fact become policy, that means potentially another 2,000 black women could die every year from breast cancer. So what the, the imperative is doing on the policy front is making sure that policymakers know that science. There has never been a comparative index of black women's health. And so Index Us will be the first time we've ever looked at black women's health from a healthy perspective. We will take what we learn from healthy black women and use that in our programs, our policy work, and our messaging and make it available to organizations who focus on black women's health across the country. It makes all the sense in the world to talk about what's right with us, and there's far more that's right with black women and their health than is wrong with them. We partner with the BWHI because it's a great group. Something that's particularly close to my heart is BWHI is working very hard to get more women who are African American, who are black, um, into um, medical research. They have traditionally been underrepresented in many different kinds of research. They're working both at the federal and state level to improve the opportunity uh, to get policies changed that will help improve the health of black women. One of the things that, that has always impressed me about uh, the Black Women's Health Imperative is that it's fact-based, evidence-based, research-based, a lot of data-driven uh, information. One of the things I want to be able to do as a board member is to continue to sort of lead the charge in ensuring that we have those numbers and that we put those numbers in front of people. 
The Black Women's Health Imperative has a bold goal to increase the number of healthy black women from 9.5 million today to 12.5 million by 2020. My health matters. 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 My health matters.